Vox au Cavalier 1988-95. By the mid-1980s, General Motors had started developing a new model to replace the J-Car models in Europe, its American, Australian and Japanese divisions would instead be replaced by different designs in due course, by the end of the decade. The new model would retain the Cavalier nameplate for the Vauxhall version on the UK market, but elsewhere in Europe the car would be sold as the Opel Vectora, spelling the end for the long-running Askina nameplate. Soon afterwards, development also began on a new coupe which would share the same underpinnings as the hatchbacks and saloons, but would use the different nameplate and feature completely different styling. The final generation Cavalier went on sale on October 14, 1988, being Vauxhall's version of the Opel Vectra A, again available as a saloon and hatchback. There was no estate version in the Opel lineup, and as this design was not going to be sold in Australia, there was no prospect of Vauxhall turning to Holden for a replacement. Early plans for an estate model exclusive to Europe to be developed and never materialized. During 1989, However, the Cavalier's floor pan did spawn a new coupe, the Calibra, the first Vauxhall coupe since the original Cavalier coupe was discontinued in 1981. The Calibra was the official replacement for the Opel Manta, which had been discontinued in 1988, and was also sold on continental Europe under the Opel brand. Plans for the Calibra to be imported to the USA under the Saab brand never materialized. The Vectra name was not adopted at this model change as Vauxhall feared reviving memories of the much maligned Vauxhall Victor, whereas the Cavalier was a generally well-received product and had helped boost Vauxhall's sales and reputation. Early Victors had been viewed in some quarters as excessively corrosion-prone, but the Victor was becoming a very distant memory by this stage. The Vectra name would eventually appear on a Vauxhall in 1995, when the Cavalier was finally replaced. In place of the Mark II Cavalier's angular exterior was a more rounded appearance, reflecting the change in styling tastes throughout Europe at this time. There was also a new economical 1.4 liters petrol engine. The biggest changes to the range were the addition of 2.0 liters 16 valve engines, better known as the Red Top Horse. This was fitted to the XI 2000 and later Swiss. Also made available was a four-wheel drive system, fitted to a 2.0 eel model, 8-valve Shri spec, and on a version of the XIT 2000. There were two diesels available, a 1.7 liters, 60 horsepower, 45 kilowatts, from launch, and an 82 horsepower, 61 kilowatts, 1.7 liter Isuzu engine lightly blown turbidsel from 1992. The early Stris were fitted with a 2.0-liter 8-valve engine from the previous Cavalier model, which produced 130 horsepower, 97 kilowatts. Despite the lack of an estate body style, the Cavalier topped the large medium family car sales charts in Britain in 1990, narrowly outselling the Ford Sierra, while Rover was beginning to phase out its Montego in favor of the new Rover 400 series and later the more upmarket 600 series. Other strong contenders in this sector included the long-running Citroen BX and Peugeot's highly regarded 405. Having first outsold the Sierra in Britain in 1990, it was Britain's second best-selling car behind the Ford Escort in 1992. It did not lose top spot in its sector until it was overtaken by the Sierra's successor, the Mondio, in 1994.